In this video, I'm going to show you how to establish a shared coordinate system in Revit by acquiring orientation and coordinates from a CAD file. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. It's good to see you. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, if you haven't watched my video about preparing a CAD file to be linked into Revit, make sure you watch that first. Now, let's get into today's video. Now, let's take a look at the exercise files. I have a CAD file that I named Survey, and uh, I highlighted a point that I like to use as my project base point, and uh, I have an actual CAD point to highlight my coordinates. So these are the coordinates that I will expect to see in Revit as well. Now, in the Revit file, and I like to keep this in my template, so every time I start a project, I already have this setting, is I have a site project north, and a site true north. Now, at this point, they, they're all the same. They all have the same content and visibility. And uh, what it means is that I'm showing the project base point and survey point in that view, along with the uh, north arrow. And the only difference between the two is that one shows the project north as orientation, obviously this one, and true north shows or the true north as orientation. Now, if you're not seeing these two points, you can just head over to visibility and graphics, VG, and under model categories, you can scroll down to site, and you can uh, check these two boxes so you can unhide them. Now, at this point from site project north, I'm going to link a CAD I'm going to select my file, just survey. I'll leave that black and white. And I like to use manual center just because when I when I open it, I get to place it manually, no matter where the center of the CAD file is, which may be far away from where I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the CAD file and snap onto that point and place it where my Revit project base point is. At this point, I'd like to draw a detail line that starts from that point and is aligned to a line that I'm going to use for my orientation because I'd like my north to go that way but be straight so I can see it correctly on the sheet. Right now, these are not going to be orthogonal to my sheet. but Let's fix that. All you need to do is uh, click on the cat file, rotate, and the center of rotation is far away at this point, so I can just press spacebar, and that's where I relocate it. And I want that alignment to be vertical in my case. And now I can uh, safely draw, and uh, I know that all these lines will be orthogonal to my sheet. Now let's take a look at the site true north. Let's take this with us. I'm going to do a copy to clipboard and I'll head over to the true north and I'm going to paste it aligned to current view. Now what that does is give me the alignment to the original true north and let's go ahead and adjust this view to show the true north. To do that we just do manage, position, rotate true north, and we're going from this vertical alignment to the original true north. Now what that did was reorient the project, or at least tell Revit that we have that certain angle, which is 10.17 in my case. And if you go back to project north, everything stayed the same. So we have this correct angle in project north and then site true north, we have the correct orientation. Now. You may want to adjust the, the north arrow, and I like to have it in my template so it's there as a reminder. You only have to change it once because it's just a piece of annotation, but once you change it, you can use it to reflect the actual change that you made here. Now, let's take a look at what happened to the reading of the orientation, just to confirm, and you can tap through these points and the project base point is now showing the same coordinates, so zero again, but the angle to true north changed to the angle that we were expecting. 
Now we're ready to acquire coordinates, but before we do that, I'd like to set a spot coordinate marker. So I'll go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and acquire coordinates. Manage, coordinates, acquire coordinates, and we pick the CAD file. And as you can see, these coordinates updated to reflect what we were seeing in CAD. And the survey point is now off our site. Now what happened here is that really the survey point didn't move is just stayed in 000, but now Revit knows that at this point, even though the project itself hasn't moved, you see everything is still in the same relative spot, but now Revit knows that this point has these new coordinates. Now, next, what I would recommend is that you select your CAD file and then you pin it. So this makes it harder or impossible for any of your team members to accidentally move it. And now you're ready to save your file as, and what I would recommend is that you save this as a site file and not your live project, for example, architectural model. Uh, so you can essentially use this as a site file or coordination file, just because you wanna handle all the site work in here and uh, leave the bulk of, say, survey, civil 3D file, landscape files, all because they're typically CAD files and you leave them in this file and this is the file that you can use for coordinates that you can easily redistribute to your team. And then everybody, including the architect, can acquire coordinates from this model, knowing that the coordinates won't change. Now in this particular exercise, I was mainly concerned about the X, Y coordinates and uh, not too much about the elevation. So I left the elevation at zero. But of course, if you click on the project base point, you can handle the elevation here. You can either type it in or make sure that when you acquire the coordinates from the CAD file, that point, that specific point actually shows a, an elevation that's different from zero. And that should give you the right reading for the elevation. Now this was a quick and hopefully simple workflow for this topic, but obviously there are so many scenarios and situations. So let me know if you want me to look at a specific case and I'll do just that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.